first, an emergency has been scheduled, and now the drama is about to begin. Well, it's early morning outside of the lion enclosure here. As you can see, it's firmly closed up. I'm waiting for Keeper Bob Trollope so that we can go out and patrol within the lion enclosure, count them, and something tells me one of them is going to be missing. The different areas and departments at Longleat are called sections. And already the staff in each section have begun their first jobs of the day. For some, that's feeding, while others start with mucking out. The keepers who look after the large carnivores have different priorities. A lot of their routine is concerned with safety, but there's going to be nothing routine about today. Though so far, everything seems normal. I've joined Bob Trollope as he does his usual rounds. So Bob, obviously you do this every morning, so you, we've just counted the wolves. Yeah, the first thing that we do every morning is come in and do a head count. Yeah. And obviously as we're driving around, we do a, a fence check as well. Yeah. Just see whether there's any trees or branches that have come across or any other unlikely thing that might have happened. Is that the biggest hazard then, a tree falling and crushing the fence? That is, yeah, as, as you know, it's a uh, safari bark is built in a wood. Mm. Um, and no matter how well you trim the trees up, there's always a possibility that one might mm -hmm. fall over or a limb might come down. But there's always a worry, that's for sure. While Ben's out with Bob, I'm in position to follow the action in the Safari Park's nerve centre, the office of Head Warden Keith Harris. So as not to arouse suspicion at this stage, we're pretending to be here to do an interview about something else. You can always tell when you're in the Head Warden's office because it's got the biggest chair. Morning, Keith. The lion escape drill has been kept secret from all the other staff. So right now, we're just playing along, waiting for the emergency to begin. Well, I'm glad the cameras are here, because I can now actually prove that yeah, I do do some work. <laughs> there's, lots of, there's lots of paper and stuff about. In the outer office, Deputy Head Warden Ian Turner is blissfully unaware of the impending crisis. There's only three people that know about this. That's okay. me, Brian and Keith. No, I've noticed we, we, Craig is kind of coming nearer. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, this, he's, is, <laughs> this is when I tell him what okay. is actually going on. Okay. Um, what we're doing is basically a line escape drill. Right. I'll let you know that all the lines are in. If anyone asks you or you know, gets in contact with you, you've got to act just as surprised as we are. Okay. All right? Yep. Presumably the first thing is to just double check all the just stuff. Double check, oh, yeah. so, so which pride is this that we're going uh, into this now? This is Charlie's pride. Okay. Are they going to be um, surprised to see us? Well, the fact is that me and Brian sneaked in this day evening and actually put them all in. So we know they're all there. Close up, you can really appreciate how dangerous these animals are. Thankfully, since the safari park opened 40 years ago, not one has ever escaped. Now, we're about to find out what would happen if one did. Are we ready for this? <laughs> I'm actually quite nervous, even though... There's, 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 there's been a lot of planning going into this, hasn't there? This, we've been planning this for weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so... It's been so hard not to let things slip. And we, Craig, you, you really didn't, you, you didn't, you, you hadn't got a clue about it, have you? Not until this morning. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Well, that's very <laughs> yeah. well. So, should we make right, the first call? Uh, three line two, Brian. Bob's first call is to his head of section, Brian Kent. Brian is in on the secret, but all the correct procedures must be followed to keep the exercise as real as possible. And of course, most of the other keepers have radios too, so they can already hear what's going on. Um, I've checked all the lines in the second, and we have one missing. All right, Bob. Uh, you have another look round just in case. Yeah, I will do. Um, we have had a, a pretty thorough search, but um, I was not actually on it yet. All right, so I'll have a look again and give me a shout back. We'll give it five minutes and I'll make another call. OK. So far, the situation is still in the hands of the lion keepers, but very soon it's going to turn into a full-scale emergency that will involve everyone in the park.